you know about this 1890s horse farm turned wedding and event venue in Eastern York? I'm at Hidden Springs Farm in Lower Windsor Township and we're going to check out this beautiful rustic space and great setting that you should consider if you need a wedding or events venue. Let's go meet with Becky, one of the owners of Hidden Springs Farm and Events. We purchased it about four years ago, and we started restoring two years ago. We have our catering business that we've been in for over 40 years, and every time we would go to one of these barn venues, I would say to my dad, like, we need to do this somewhere, and we've been looking, and when he purchased this, um, we came over to look at the house, and I saw everything else that was here, and I was like, this is it, but it was in a lot of, <laughs> a lot worse shape when we first got it. The chapel was originally um, the tobacco shed on the farm. So this framework right here behind this material, there was three times this amount of framework in here and that was what was used. They used to put boards across here to hang the tobacco to dry. Um, so we took two thirds of that out to make space for the pews. We put a new floor in um, and then our pews came from these ones came from um, a church in the Brogue. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm told it's the oldest church in York County. Um, they got rid of their pews and one of our brides actually got them from the church and wanted to use them. She said, if you let me use them, you can have them. So that's how we got those. These came from a church in downtown York. Um, a friend of mine is a pastor and she called me and was like, hey, I know this church that's getting rid of their pews. Do you want them? So we took a these came on a hay wagon through downtown Red Lion, and these came on a corn truck from downtown York, um, and that's how we got them here. And then the front two pews are from uh, the church in Yorkiana that I grew up in. The space between the boards really makes for some really cool pictures with all of, I was worried that it wasn't gonna work out and the photographers weren't gonna like it, but it really makes some awesome pictures. I think the chapel's unique. I don't think that there's many other places that have something that's churchy. Um, and then, so we have that, and then we also offer, some people will set, just set up chairs by the pond um, to have their wedding if they want to have it outside. But the nice thing is, if it is the chance of rain, they can make the call the morning of and decide to move in here and everything's covered if it would rain. This is cocktail hour. We can seat about 230 people upstairs. So that's, I mean, this doesn't fit 230 people, but this is more of like a mingling space. People spill a, out outside. Yes. So. Yeah, this is all kind of one continuous space. This was a cattle barn. Yeah, so this had a dirt floor that we actually dug lower. Like the floor was actually only to about here. And that's why we have these cement knee walls because we dug below the foundation of the barn and had to put these in for stability. So this is the reception space. Um, between the, the loft and the three bays, we can seat about 230 people. Um, I would say the most unique part of this space is uh, the chandeliers that we had made. So this barn was a working horse farm before we purchased it. Um, and all of those little cross pieces, they're called single trees and double trees. They're made to hitch teams of horses up. Um, and we found tons of them, probably well over 100 of them between all the different buildings that we cleaned out. And um, I went to a local ironwork place with an idea in my head and they created the chandeliers that we have. We have lots of availability. We're brand new, so we are still, we have a bunch of availability for next year. I think in the grand scheme of venues in the area, we're rather inexpensive. We also do things other than just weddings too. Like we've hosted um, benefit events, we've hosted retirement parties, company parties. Um, we have a bridal shower on Sunday. Um, so pretty much anything you need an event space for, we can host. There's a lot of like family element here. I mean, when I got here, like yes. you said, <laughs> you got your kids working for you. Clint's, Clint's doing some work, yeah, so. Kids clean. Eliza wants to be a wedding coordinator someday. Right. Nice. She's actually, she says she's gonna run this place when she gets out of high school, so. But you can't wait. I can't, <laughs> cannot. <laughs> So what, what is that, seven more years, or how old is she? She has, yes, yeah, seven more years. She's in sixth grade this year. And Colton says he's taking over catering. So Clint and I can just sit back and relax. Yeah, just uh, collect the money as right. it comes in. <laughs> right. <laughs>